guys, Spooky Babes and Ghouls. Um, so today I'm just showing you guys a uh, makeup tutorial I did based on like a ghost song I had. Well, like I made, I did make up based on a ghost song called Dance Macabre, and that's like one of the newest songs off the new album pre prequel. And I love that album already. I already have it. I already have the. I, I ordered my vinyl and everything. It came with like a bundle and everything. So I'll probably show that later after I finish makeup tutorial. Um, do like a little review or whatever. So, um, people have requested for me to recreate that makeup that I was wearing in. Cause it was an like Instagram, I made mean, a different Instagram, it was like Instagram makeup and it, people were requesting for me to recreate that for YouTube, like do a tutorial for that. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I'm not wearing my fishnet shirt, I, actually, I think I left that at my boyfriend's house, like I can't find it anywhere. So yeah, I guess no fishnet shirt today, but whatever. Um, I'll take my hair later and I'll make it look really cool. Um, I already have a white contact in, I think I got these from, I, probably, I can't remember, I don't even think the story even exists on Instagram anymore. I'm not even sure, but um. Yeah, I'm just wearing a white out contact in my eye, just like Papa Maritis or Cardinalcopia now. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's just started. So first I'm using this Nintendo Cosmetics Contour Palette, but we're going to be using this for eyeshadow today. So I'm going to be dipping my fluffy bending, my fluffy blending, I can't talk today, my fluffy, fluffy, <laughs> my fluffy blending brush over here. We're going to be dipping it into this pink right here, and I'm going to be... I'm putting it all over my eyelids. Kind of, this is, I'm using this mainly as a transitional shade, so so I'm gonna put it all over here. We're also gonna kind of wing out the smoky eye today. It's gonna be like smoky cat eye, so we're gonna be doing that. And as you can see, I, can co I covered my eyes with um, some, I think sculpting wax. I can't remember what it's called. I, was, I did I did glue first, and then that did, that didn't look good at all. Like it just looked really, like. I don't know, it just looked really ugly, like, ugh, it just, so I, I use, I, I remember I had the sculpting wax, so I use that, and it looks better, so, hopefully after I do my eyebrows, after I do all my eyeshadow, all my eyebrows, you won't be able to tell, like, uh, it's covered, like, like, you, you can tell, like, because, like, I've been name my eyebrows grow lately, because, like, I've been in summer school, and I was like, well, I kind of want my eyebrows to grow, because I remember having really more makeup, I haven't been wearing makeup to class, so, I don't have time to put on makeup anymore, so. Yeah, that's why I let my eyebrows go up. But I'm probably, sh I'm pretty sure like after I get out of summer school, I'm gonna just pluck off my eyebrows or just shave them all, like at least half of them. I don't, I don't, I don't shave off my whole entire eyebrow. Cut. I'm not, I'm not like that, like dedicated to doing that. Like I don't know, I just like I don't really want to do that. Okay, so next we're dipping into this Morphe 35B palette, and I'm gonna be dipping my other blending brush into this red color here. It's a little more hot pink than red actually. Um, I don't know, it just appears more hot pink. It's like it's so hard to find a matte red eyeshadow, but whatever. So we're going to be dipping into this one. I'm using a smaller blending brush than the other one. And this doesn't have a mirror. So let me pull out my other mirror. And I'm just going to be applying it like kind of underneath here. Like where I did the first color. And I'll be blending it out. Morphe 35B palette again, and I'm be using like a flat eyeshadow brush to apply the next the next color, which is me. I'm be using black, and I'm just gonna like, get it all over my brush. Maybe you can tap out some of the fallout just in case there's any. And I'm be applying it like all over my eyelid, and I'm also be blending it out onto the pink or the reds. Cosmetics Contour Palette, and we're going to be basically doing the same thing that we did up here. Start off with the pinks, and then the red, and then of course the black. So I'm just going to 
I'm gonna basically do it all right now. So yeah, so I'm gonna start off with that, with this and the Morphe palette and blend them all out together. Cap on these best case eyeliner onto my waterlines. Next, I'm using Cap Von D's tattoo eyeliner and trooper, and I'm applying it onto the corners of my eyes right here to create kind of like a cat eye look. Eyebrow pomade, and this one's called graphite. It's a black eyebrow pomade. I'm applying that to my eyebrows. I'm gonna draw them pretty high and arch, so that's why I blocked out half my eyebrows today because my natural eyebrows aren't that high, of course. using this contour palette from Lunatic Cosmetics Lab Cos Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Um, I'm using these two contour brushes, this one to sculpt my face and this one to blend. These are from Real Techniques. And I'm be dipping into these two shades. This one first, and then I'm gonna blend it out, and then dip into this one, make it a bit darker and blend it out of course. I'm gonna contour my face like I normally do. So yeah. <laughs> Since the music, the, the the song that's macabre sounds kind of like 80s ish. Um, um, back in the 80s, a lot of people like they wore like a lot of blush back then. So I'm adding some blush onto my face. Like kind of like, I forgot what they call it. I don't remember. Like what they added, like, it was like it was practically contour, but they contoured it with blush. But I'm not doing that. So I want my contour to be dark. But I'm be dipping into to my blush. I might dip into this one too to make it more brighter. And I'm gonna be applying brush, brush, blush. Kind of a little bit above like where I just contoured, maybe just blend it into a, into it just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit 80s. Next, I'll be drawing the crucifix on my forehead right here. I'm using Cat Cat Von D's tattoo liner, and I'm just draw a line and like half a circle. It's almost like, it's almost like forming like a G kind of. Let me pull up a picture of it. A crucifix. So, okay, here's one. This is how it looks like. If you guys don't know, of course, most school fans should know by now. Of course, so this is like their symbol, I guess. So yeah, let's do that on my forehead.
So I had applied some mascara and eyelashes onto my eyes um, to kind of like, you know, of course, like add like extra darkness and depth to my eyes. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, but um, the eyelashes I'm wearing are actually from Mimi Artistry. Um, they're a shop on Instagram. I recently got these like two weeks ago, I think. Set that focus. There you go. Now you can see where the eyelashes are from. Maybe I'll put a link down. But I'm not promoting from them. I'm just supporting a small Instagram shop. I love supporting like all these like small like eyelash shop uh, eyelash shops, especially because like they have like really pretty eyelashes. And I like buying lashes from Instagram because like the Instagram shops because like they have the prettiest, most fluffiest eyelashes ever. They're different than the ones you went in store, you know. So that's why I like supporting these like small brands. And then plus they also like have their own makeup too as well. So I think that's really really cool. But yeah, I'm wearing these awesome really fluffy eyelashes. These ones are called Baddie, by the way. I'm not sure they they were on sale for like eight dollars, so I got them. And I think it's a really good deal for these really pretty lashes. So I really love them. They're super fluffy and I tell them to wear like dark smoky eyes. So yeah. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to apply some lipstick on. This one's from Victoria's Secret. Um, this one is called Forbidden and I'm going to apply it onto my lips. that would be it for today's makeup tutorial um i don't know if y'all can tell if my hair is teased i'm not sure if y'all can see with the black background or what i don't know i can't really tell my little screen right now but um yeah that'll be it for today's tutorial um many some people have requested to recreate this on instagram well like i did this on instagram first and they all wanted to see a makeup tutorial for this so here it is so i it was all fun to create i was actually thinking of making this a makeup tutorial at first when i first did the makeup but i was like nah i just want to take pictures on instagram but a lot of people liked it, so here it is. Um, this is based off of Ghost, their new album. I kind of wanted, like, it's, I know it looks more red and black and pink, but it's supposed to be red, but, um, that's how it came out, my original one, but, like, like the album's kind of, like, has, like, reds in it, and it's, like, dark, and I thought that looked really cool. And also, their new song, Dance Macabre, like, that one, it's, like, it sounds super 80s, and that's, I love it, I love the 80s, so it gave me this idea to do, like, a huge, like, big hair, and, like, um, I want to do something kind of like almost trad like the like the 80s goth makeup kind of with the crazy like where they winged it out and it was like they brought it down here to do the nose and like dark lipstick like I want to do something like 80s goth meets like glam metal so that's what I did um because like their new song totally sounds like glam metal honestly kind of not that like exactly glam metal but like the guitar mini so it reminds me a little bit of like Randy Rhodes and stuff I'll kind of go into depth about that um when I do review the album which I'll do like right after this um so yeah a lot of this makeup was inspired by Ghost. I was listening to music and I was like, you know, I was like, while well, listening to the song, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do makeup tutorial based off the song. So that's what I did. I like a look based off the song. So I was just like, you know, whatever. Um, this is what came out of it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, it doesn't look as good as the original. I don't know if y'all can, of course, maybe from far away you can't really tell like how crappy like the eyebrows look or like, um, like this area right here. It's like kind of like crusty because like, the wa like the wax and then especially when I was blending it with the, the blending the eyeshadow out it kind of like ruined the wax a little bit and the eyeshadow doesn't look as blended like up, up close like it looks okay from far away but like up close you'll you'll tell that it's like kind of cracky and like it didn't like I don't know whatever but it's okay <laughs> I don't think I'll do close ups of this eye so whatever I already got close ups of the original one so yeah that's cool too um I also really love this lip gloss my friend has sent this to me. I think for Christmas, and I really loved it. Like, I had one similar to it from a Toy Seeker, but it was, like, lighter. And this one's more of, like, an even darker, like, maroon. It's, like, nearly black. Like, it's almost like a black gloss, like, lip gloss. So I really love it a lot. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for today's roll. Um, so make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel for more awesome things coming up. And also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, because I'm always posting on there. Especially Instagram. I, like, if you follow me on Instagram, I'd be super happy. Um... Uh, I don't know what else I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I'm always posting stuff on there, like on my stories, and I'm always posting like other makeup pictures, like my makeup of the day, my eye makeups. Um, like I also post sneak peeks on my YouTube videos on Instagram, or like whenever I film me, whenever I post a YouTube video up, I'll let everyone on Instagram know. Cause I know sometimes YouTube doesn't always notify people when I they get when I post a new video, so whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I usually use my Instagram to like promote my YouTube channel more. So yeah. 
Um, so yeah, so that's it for today's makeup tutorial. So make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome things coming up. Bye guys!